run game that, uh, against BYU. Was there something that stood out as far as that wasn't working that you can fix going forward? Yeah, definitely you can always make adjustments in the run game, and we didn't perform as well as we would have liked to. But uh, we're going to get it fixed and move on. Was, was any of that, do you think, on the line? Yeah, I mean, obviously we take a lot of responsibility for it, but we didn't perform well in one game, and we're going to move forward and get better. Was BYU doing anything specific that kind of gave you guys trouble? Uh, nothing that we hadn't seen on film or that we weren't prefer prepared for. Like I said, it just comes down to performance, and we didn't perform up to our standard. Why was that, do you think, that it didn't perform up to the standard? You know, I couldn't tell you. It could be a number of things, but not one thing stands out over another. So, From a physicality standpoint, BYU presents a lot of the same challenges that Stanford will. Do you think that prepared you sufficiently heading yeah, into this week? No doubt. You know, We've already been looking at Stanford and their physical group up front. It's no different than what they've been in the past. And you know, We're excited for the challenge, and it's going to be fun. Kind of the easy narrative of the offseason was you guys kind of geared yourself to beat Stanford and play a style that, that could match up with them. Is that Was that kind of overblown, do you think, or is that accurate to kind of say that? I think we, you know, changed offenses to win football games and win a national championship. It wasn't just to beat one program. Um, you know, we want to go out and win games and compete with the best, and this will be a good opportunity this Saturday to do that. You guys, I, I haven't beaten them. I think it's eight straight times. Does that stick in the mind at all, or do you just kind of worry about the one game, or do you not do you not think about? No, we don't think we actually. don't we don't think about the past really because this team hasn't beaten Stanford and Stanford hasn't beaten this team. So, you know, we're going to go on a Saturday with that mindset and you know play with a chip on our shoulder and give it our all. What um, I guess USC was complaining that their D line was calling out some cadences, kind of threw them off. I think they had like five false starts. How do you kind of counteract that? Yeah, I noticed that on film, but, you know, it's all about selective hearing. You know, we know Josh's voice. We know our snap count, and we know what we're going to do in terms of the snap count, and it's not going to change how we play. And we haven't had procedure penalties this far in the season, and we're going to keep rolling with that. Josh was pretty critical about his performance. It seems like he's critical about every week, but in terms of what you saw from him on a Saturday, anything stick out to you? I've said it time and time again, you know, Josh is the ultimate competitor and he puts the highest demand on himself to be great. You know, we obviously could have been better for him in establishing the run game, which would have taken a lot of weight off his shoulders, but you know, when it came down to making big throws, he made big throws and you know, we won the game and that's really all me that that's really all that matters. Excuse do you, me. Do you ever think he maybe might put a, a little bit too much pressure on himself. I think more, Coach Morris said he was a little tight in that first half. Uh, yeah, he was a little tight, you know. But I think everyone on this team holds themselves accountable and holds themselves to the highest standard. You know, no one is above anyone else. And Josh really, really loves this game and takes the heart and wants to win every football game. And, you know, sometimes you can't win them all, but we got out of Saturday with a win. How do you feel about starting the Pac-12 with this game? Is that a good way to start? Um, I do think it's a good way to start. You know, I can't kind of set the tone for the whole rest of the Pac-12. Uh, it's a good game to start with. I don't think we ever played Stanford this early. Well, since I've been playing, at least, you know, we had them week five my freshman year, but I wasn't playing that game. So, you know, I think it's good to get them early, and it's going to be a good test for us, and we're excited. Thanks. Thanks.